Recently, I was at a friend's house while she was feeding lunch to her toddler. On his tray, she'd put some pasta, some carrots, some fruit, and a lollipop. Before I could even open my mouth, she offered up her reasoning. She said she figured that if sweets were just part of the meal, they'd lose their significance to her son as a reward or a treat. When I talk to parents, the issue of how to handle sweets in the diet comes up all the time. Some never keep them in the house, but that sometimes just makes them more desirable. Some use them as a reward or withhold them as punishment, but that could set kids up for problems later. Others, like my friend, try to think of ways to neutralize them so that kids will think that, just like other foods, sweets have their place in a normal diet. And they do. But keep in mind that most kids will find sweets preferable to just about anything else, so it's not likely that they'll consider a choice between cake and carrots as a toss-up. I think every family has to decide how they want to deal with sweets, but I do think there are some sensible guidelines that everyone should consider. Offering an occasional dessert at home is fine, but you don't want your kids to grow up thinking that a meal is incomplete if there's no grand finale. My husband was raised this way, and he's struggled with a sweet tooth ever since. When I was little, my mom made desserts only on birthdays and special occasions, so I never really got in the habit of having or needing something sweet after meals. Keeping sweets out of the house is fine, but recognize that your kids will still be exposed to sweets, will still ask for them, and no matter how hard you try, they'll probably figure out a way to get them one way or another. What often works best is a middle-of-the-road approach in which sensible sweets are kept around. Graham crackers, pudding cups, frozen fruit bars, or fruit-filled cookies. Having a few parent-approved treats around can keep the situation manageable. Kids know that nothing in the house is off limits, and clashes with mom and dad over their sugar intake can often be avoided this way. But using sweets as a reward or a pacifier, or withholding them as penalty for bad behavior, are tactics to be avoided. Many of my overweight patients remember as kids being given bags of cookies to keep them quiet, or having sweets taken away as punishment. Not surprising that they grow up to have a love-hate relationship with sweets, which are now the most emotionally charged foods in their diet. As adults, they now turn to sweets for comfort, but they're also racked with guilt whenever they eat them. So an even-handed, sensible approach is probably the best. I think my friend's heart was in the right place, but I do wonder if 20 years from now, when little Henry goes to a restaurant and orders a salad, a steak, and chocolate cake, if he'll ask that they all be served at the same time. <laughs>